Welcome everyone to this tutorial. We're going to learn how to work with lists and patterns and we're going to apply this on a multi-adjustable truss. This is key for creating very complex patterns, for example, in this roof structure of King Cross Station. So for this tutorial, we're going to use the following components, uh, point list, shift list, shortest list, weave and curl pattern. So let's get to it. All right, let's set up a basic model. We are creating two points. And for the second point, let's take it to eight meters. So as you can see, points are there. Let's connect the points with the line, line component. Connect start and end. And for the upper truss, upper part of the truss, we're going to use the move tool to move the line to with a unit set factor to let's say 1.5 meter. So let's connect it. So as you can see, I have an upper part of the truss and a lower part. Let's divide both parts into points. All right, oh, let's do this. And let's take for as count uh, 12. That seems like a nice one. All right, so let's visualize these points that are here. We're going to use the list point, point list component. And it has an input, a set of points, and it has the size of the text. So let's create a slider which has 0.4 as size. And let's visualize these points. So as you can see, they range from 0 to 12. Uh, let's create another one to visualize also the lower points. All right, so right now I'm wanting to create a pattern which are crosses, like here, like here. So from one, from zero to one here. So what we can do is use the shift component, shift list component on the upper part, upper part of the truss. So this component has an input list, it has an input shift, which specifies the amount of shifts you want. And the third one is wrap. We're going to look at it soon. So for the upper part points, I'm going to shift the points. And let's see how this looks like if we visualize it. All right, so the points are shifted one to the right, as you can see. So now the zero is here. And if we take out the line component, and at the start point, these points, and the end point, these ones, we're going to have this pattern available. Well, what we can see is that we also connect point 12 with point 12 here. That's actually not what we want. And we can try to change it with a wrap input and set the boolean to false. So what it does is that the last in entry of the point is not shifted to the first one here. So now it's only from 1 to 11. But what you can see right now is that we have an unequal amount of points and the last one, 11, is connected with the 12 here. And that's also not what you want. What you want. We can use the component short shortest list so here the component has two inputs a list to two lists and also two output lists and if we input this shifted list and these points and connect these with each other 
then you can see that it pulls out the list. And we can also visualize this uh, with this and visualize this one as well. And what you can see that number 12 is trimmed out. So if you choose right to, to click right on the component, we have a couple options. It's standard, it's on uh, trim end, the last point. But you can also trim it to the start, or you can see that this first point is trimmed out, or you can interpolate it. And it's actually a clever way that the algorithm is choosing the middle one to go out. So for now, for us, it's good to leave that trim end. So for the other way around, from here to here, you can use the same combination, but then the other list is shifted. And here are the points. Great. So let's see if we can make another pattern. I maybe want to have a zigzag pattern, so from zero to zero here and all the way to the end. So let's disable this one. And we can do this with a component called pattern. So there's an input list, for example, list of points, and it has a curl pattern. I'm going to explain that. So the bottom part, for the curl pattern you have booleans false and true. So let's create a panel. And what we want is to curl out the first one here, and then the second one should be in it. And then the pattern repeats. So we can get false and then true. And with here select multi-line data of course. So right now we have selected this pattern. So for the other one, for the other list, a little bit the same, but then exactly reversed. So the first one we need, and the second one we leave out. The next component we use to combine these values is with the component weave. And weave has an input pattern and it correlates with the extra inputs below here. So it is a data stream 0 and 1. And the pattern specifies in which order it should weave the data together. And it stands standard it's 0 and then 1. So I want to first take the lower part and then combine it with the first entries of the upper part. And the pattern is already good. So for connecting these points, as you can see here, we use the polyline component and then our pattern is complete. Alright, thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in the next one.